Welcome back to Latin Nation. Now, most of the time, subcultures like Harlistas survive on their own. But one of the best examples of a culture that could not be contained to one group of people, one region, or one style is hip-hop culture. It may have been born in the mid-70s in New York City, but with hip-hop pioneers like Tony G, who was here at K-Day, which became the first round-the-clock hip-hop station ever, along with other pioneers like Hen G, who helped spread the message of hip-hop, hip-hop culture has taken on a life of its own. After developing their sound in New York, Henry Hen G. Garcia and his brother, renowned DJ Evil E, packed their records and moved to the West Coast, where they would help define the still burgeoning West Coast hip hop scene. I brought New York to LA. Everything. The only thing I got in LA was the haircut. <laughs> you know, so I like the LA style, the LA swag. That's why I'm out here. You know, it's cool. We hooked up with Ice, he said how we see sounds. We said you sound like a player, pimp. And Evil and I sound like, you know, DJs that rock the house. So you put that together and that was the, started the Ice-T brand. The connections Hen G made on the streets would eventually lead him to radio and TV, expanding hip hop's reach on the West Coast. When I was on K-Day back in the days, it was um, uh, a few DJs. We was on the air, and we had the biggest teen show. Um, there wasn't any rap shows in the West Coast, so we were very valuable at the moment. We had a show um, on LA TV. We actually interviewed a lot of cats when they first landed in Los Angeles back in the day, like Pitbull, Little John, Baby Bash. Um, Daddy Yankee, I can, the list goes on and on. Rick Ross, a lot of the rappers. A lot of them actually respected the show even though it was in a, on a Spanish channel because we flipped it bilingually and it was cool, they can relate. Hey, aquí estamos. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Dennis Def Martinez. Henji Garcia in your ear, so listen loud and clear. If it was just me just wanting to make records, I would, wouldn't even be in the business. It's a passion. It's not really all about the money, you know? If it, it, it's a fun thing, hip hop. Hip hop is a culture. After decades of experience immersed in hip hop, Henji helped create El Movement, an organization that rejects the negative perceptions associated with hip hop and reintroduces it to inner city youth through an insider's lens bring the studio inside the classroom and we have a six-week curriculum. We have about a thousand kids and we have a lot of celebrities, soap opera um, celebrities um, mentor a kid for a day. We have rides out there. We have a lot of the food trucks. That's Children United Nations. We teach kids literature, self-esteem and community awareness through music. Music is our passion. We out there to let them know that we're here. We go through things, but we're sharing with you, you know, there's a way out of everything. Just as hip hop made its way to the mainstream, it's only a matter of time before the world catches up with the rest of the movements that we've covered today. If not, that won't stop them from doing what they do. Ain't that right, Jose? That's right, T. Now, if you really think about it, what they do is just celebrate who they are and where they came from and where they're going. Now, if you want to tell us more about who you are and where you're going, feel free to hit us up with your thoughts, latinnation.tv. Well, it's time to wrap things up here in New York City. Till next time, thanks again for watching. I'm Jose, and this is Latin Nation, representing your generation from coast to coast. Peace. Latin Nation.